texture. Hello everybody, welcome back to my farmhouse sewing room. So today I wanted to do a very special video for you all. Those of you that know me know that I am single-handed. It's uh, pretty obvious that I am an amputee. And I have a lot of people that have asked me, how do I tie? How do I tie my shoes? Or, you know, how do I do my hair? I get a lot of questions, but tying is one of the most popular questions that people ask me. And tying my shoes was probably one of the most popular. But today I'm working on a project. Um, it's getting close to Christmas and I'm working on things for the holidays. And I have a couple of these tie blankets that I'm making for my nephews. Um, I don't know if you can see these. Um, they can. Okay. So I got these tie blankets and um, every one of these little ties that are, that are on here, I have tied with one hand. So today I kind of want to demonstrate how I've done this. And you know, this is something that um, I started, I guess, last night. So last night I did the two ends and then this morning I was working on, the, on one side of the ties and I thought this would be a great video to maybe possibly help somebody out there that might have an impairment or a disability or an amputation, you know, that you can do anything that you put your mind to. So um, this is something that, you know, I can't say I've learned this overnight. It's taking me lots of practice, but I really hope it, that will inspire somebody. So I've got some pre-cut strips here and I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to let you watch my fingers and how I tie these little, um, these little strips. And I've cut these strips out into three inch strips because I like my strips nice and short because I want to get these nice short little knots and I don't want a lot of excess hanging off. So I have two pieces here and I'm going to um, show you how I take my fingers and I use my fingers. My friend, my friend Brenda, you know, she always teased me. She's like, you got spider fingers and she might be right <laughs> because um, my fingers do a lot of, um, of wiggling and finagling and I don't know it's just something that's that's learned I can't really explain how I do it but I use my fingers you know to hold and press and and tighten so there is my my first knot and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do several of these so you can kind of just watch my hands and my fingers and how I um push these in here So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I'm double knotting these. So I, I do the first knot and then I bring it back over and I take my fingers and I just kind of push the one end into the hole, you know, to make the loop. And then I use my one finger to hold and my other two fingers, my thumb and my middle finger to kind of pull and draw it tight. I want my knots to be nice and tight. I don't want them to come loose because these blankets, every year I usually make one of these blankets for somebody in my family um, that's special to me and uh, I make him a tie blanket. Last year it was my husband. Um, I made him a really nice tie blanket and we keep it on our couch and believe me it is very warm and we use it every day when we're sitting you know watching tv or whatever especially in the colder months. They're really soft. They stand up to good washings and it's just a really fun gift to make for somebody. This one here is um, for my autistic nephew. Uh, his name is Nate, and I really like the lizards in this blanket because um, it has good color, and the color always really kind of makes it look textured. And I love the way these greens and these knots, if you notice, when I flip these, um, the colored side, well, the colored side usually comes up, but you can kind of see on both sides that, you know, just makes a beautiful contrast. So I'm going to do a few more of these. And then I will show you a couple other demonstrations on tying that might be a little bit simpler. But um, this is just something that, you know, I find it very relaxing to sit here and um, tie these. Because I don't really have to think too much about what I'm doing, only that my fingers are, you know, moving to tie these little, little, little strips that I've cut. And they're three inches. And I said they're very short, so I have to be very nimble <laughs> to get these these little knots to to start. But um, they go together quite quickly. And believe me, this isn't something I learned overnight. This takes practice, um, lots of practice, and and figuring out your own rhythm to do things. But I've done it so much now that I just do it, and I don't really even think about what I'm doing. I just know that it's kind of like a feel thing. So. 
I get it. But I've got quite a few knots there. And if you can see on my blanket that this is really a nice short little knot that I'm putting in these. And all these little strips that I have cut are three inches and I'm just tying them together. So I'm going to move over here and I'm going to show you um, one of my shoes. I have my wonderful work shoes here. And you can see I usually slip these untied. But I, I'm going to untie this and I want to kind of demonstrate to you how my fingers work in tying. So I'm just going to get this out of untied. Okay. And I'm going to let you get close down in here. And you can see this would be my shoe. So I'm going to bring that string over and bring this one under. And I use my two fingers here to kind of hold. And then I use that to kind of hold and, and stop it. Now, a funny story about tying my shoes. I didn't know how to tie my shoes until I was in the third grade. Everybody in my family always tied my shoes for me when I was younger. And I'm, I'm bringing my thumb through that little hole where I folded it over. And I'm bringing that loop through. And then I'm putting this finger in that loop. And I'm tying it. But um, a funny story. Uh, my shoe came untied when I was in the third grade. And um, just like this is how I would tighten it. But in the third grade... I was in the third grade and um, my shoe came untied and I had asked my teacher to tie my shoe and she's like, hasn't anybody ever taught you how to tie your shoes? And I'm like, no, everybody's just always tied my shoes for me. So my teacher, um, bless her heart, I don't even remember what her name was. I think her name was Mrs. DeCourcy. She was a beautiful woman, but um, she was trying to get me to step on one of my laces with my other foot to kind of hold it and then draw the, you know, the, the tie to close it, you know, to tighten it and then making the loop and then wrapping around. But I remember after she showed me how to tie my shoe, I remember going home and and practicing. And the rest is history. I mean, I, I mean, it's just it's 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 your mind, you know, and your your determination to get you through. So, um I think I've told a lot of my subscribers I I am a, a waitress. I work. I have a, a I have a job at a restaurant and it's a very busy restaurant and I wear I wear an apron and I'd kind of like to show you how I do this too because I do everything and I don't really even think about it. So I'm hoping maybe I can be helpful to someone and maybe inspire you. So what I do is I will I will swing my apron around my back and I will bring the other string forward and then I bring them to my waist and of course my fingers, you know, the spider fingers <laughs> that know what to do, you know, I tighten it you know, until it's felt comfortable. And then I, of course I make my loop and then I bring this up around and then I get my fingers in here where it, the loop is gonna come through and I put my thumb in it and then I push that strap through the loop and then I draw it tight with my fingers. And, and then I'll kind of pull it to make it kind of tight loosely and then I slide it around my waist and I have my jelly bean apron on. So, so I hope this has been a, a good tutorial to kind of show you how I do things. Um, like I said, this is just something that I do, but I'm hoping maybe that will inspire you and, and help and help you if you need it. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a great comment, you know, if it's helped you or if you've learned something, you know, and please subscribe. I would love to have you. Okay. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.